Hi guys, going to have a already video review for you today. I'm reviewing a film that's quite a confusing one because of the way it's re it's got a couple of names and it's been released twice now in England and that really annoyed me. Um, a lot of the films that I get, especially like the brand new ones, have been released, have been made about three years ago in America and stuff like that, have been released for a while. But uh, this one had already been released with the same name, um, Blood Cabin, before, but uh, it's been re released now again for £7, so this was a £7 film. Um, and I had a look online and I quickly found I could have got it for £2, an older release, which really did annoy me. But um, anyway, so that's just one thing to keep in mind if you're going to check this film out, that you can get it in a different kind of cover, different release for about £2. This one cost me £7 from Asda, and um, I don't know, I've got mixed emotions about this film. Um, one thing that's worth mentioning is that I absolutely I, I love the cover, it's shiny as well. <laughs> The text, I really like the text and like the styling of it and the back. Now I'm going to quickly talk through some of the reviews and give a review of the reviews. The front, one of the best slasher movies I've ever seen. Okay, that's not true. Surely that's not true unless you've ever seen a slasher film before. Must not be missed. Um, movies like this are the reason I'm a horror fan. Truly outrageous. Awesome. Reminiscent of the first Friday the 13th. Now... I do think that they were definitely trying to go for the Friday the 13th feel with this film. So if you're into that kind of slash job, you know, this is right up your street, I suppose. Um, it's a group of friends. It's five of them, two boys, three girls, go to a cabin, basically. You know, it's a party and uh, you're teenagers, stuff like that. And um, the cast are not particularly likeable. There's one character which straight away is the most annoying character I've ever seen in the film. She literally just screams for an entire duration of her being in the film. And, uh, you know, the actress was terrible. Um, the rest of the characters aren't particularly likeable. And, I don't know, there's one thing I, I, I was worried about that was, like, within half an hour, most of the cast had been killed. The, the cast were getting killed too quickly. And I was really worried. I was really worried that, like, maybe the film was going to be left with one character for, like, an hour, which would bore the hell out of me. But, um, surprisingly, I, the, the film managed to keep my attention. And, um, I don't know, to kind of enjoy it, but, hmm. The killer itself was a massive downfall of the film. Uh, he's basically just a normal. He looks like the milkman or something. He's just a balding, fat dude and silent. You know, he kind of walks around like Michael Myers or Freddy. Uh, not Freddy, sorry, Jason. You know, like Friday the Thirteenth, Halloween, just kind of slashing off these, killing off these teenagers, just walking around silent as doesn't say a word up until about well, half hour after the film, he starts to talk, and uh, that again even ruined it even more. Um, the kills, although gory, there's none of them were particularly inventive, there's nothing I've never seen before, although the, the effects were quite good. Uh, the music at certain points well was kind of off-putting, but at other points I thought the music was really, really well done. There's actually a couple of scenes as well where it actually jumps, and that is rare for a low-budget film for me, Partic especially if it's um, a slasher. Uh, slashers don't usually make me jump, it's mainly just like ghost films or paranormal films that make me jump, but this actually made me jump twice. So that was quite surprising, I didn't expect that. Um, the best thing about this film for me was definitely the director. The director, sorry. Um, he did a fantastic job on this, given what you had. You know, the actors were a bunch of no names that you don't know. You're never gonna, probably never see them when you get a film again. Um, they weren't terrible, but they weren't, you know, great. It was ex exactly what you'd expect from this kind of horror film. A low budget uh, one. But you know, as I said, the direction was absolutely brilliant for this kind of film. I think the director has a lot of potential to go on and do some pretty good things. Um, he definitely was the fit, his direct the direction was definitely what kept me interested in this film as well. It was some good shots, a lot of long shots. Um, like it followed the group around as the, one of the first scenes, and it paid off with a brilliant scare as well. Um, and I think the, the director has to be given credit. It was well done. He created tension. He actually created quite a lot of tension. There was a lot of tense scenes as well, and it was all thanks to the director. So uh, he did a great job. The special effects gore team were okay. They were um, provided plenty of gore, but again, they weren't given too much to do. Like there was no decapitations or stuff like that. Mainly just people being stabbed. Um, but yeah. So overall, for this film, oh, it's a tough one. I think I'm gonna give it a four out of ten for enjoyment. But um, as I said, it was really direct for this kind of horror film. Very good. Um, I'd love to see what the director could do with a bigger budget and um, a bigger film. But if you like kind of slashes, Cabin in the Woods kind of thing, um, not Cabin in the Woods, sorry, like a Cabin in the Woods, not the film, um, check this out I suppose, but 
if I was you, I'd go ahead and get the £2 version rather than this because it's not worth paying an extra £5 just for this cover. Even though I really do like the cover. Um, but yeah, so check it out if you love Slashers, if you're a massive fan of Halloween and Friday the 13th and you've seen everything, go ahead and check that out. Um, I'm not too sure what the title is in America, but I'll post that on the video description and stuff. So uh, check it out if you're a massive fan of Slashers, but I wouldn't go out of your way to buy this one. Thank you for watching my review and um, hopefully I'll be posting a video of my entire collection mm -hmm. next. As you can see it's grown quite a lot since last posted. So uh, thank you.